Thank you for taking the time to view video number eight in our Kaggle Pen Setter Parts Awareness Series. Today we're going to talk about two specific parts in the GS Pen Setter. And we're going to start off with a plastic injection molded part, uh, the pen detector plate. And we're going to talk about what's currently offered in the field and some of the improvements that we made on our pen detector plates uh, based on feedback from the field. The current OEM version and what is offered in the field the first thing that we noticed was though it was plastic injection molded and the design was good, um, there were some areas that we felt could have been beefed up a little bit better. For example, the front tab, as we'll utilize this so you can see, against that little flat piece of metal, you can see the difference. Okay, That's where the end of that tab ends in thickness, probably about an eighth of an inch. We slide this over to our tab we're going to notice that our tab is actually higher than the piece of metal itself. Once again, strengthening an area that does go under a lot of stress. That was the first improvement we decided to make. Another improvement that we made, which is a little difficult to see in the video, but the actual outer ring itself, as far as that thickness is concerned, we went a lot thicker, almost twice the thickness to give you better durability, less bend, less flex. You'll notice on the ears of the OEM version, okay, you would simply just slide your retaining pen inside of there. But on ours, we wanted to give you an additional place to pivot, so we actually put a little insert in there that basically acts as a small bearing for that pen. And it also relieves some of the stress on that pen, keeps it more centered, you get less wobble. We also, when looking at the ears, we doubled our rib in the back, so we actually have twice the thickness and structural integrity in the ears themselves. Okay. Those are the main design changes in that specific part. Another part that we wanted to look at was the actual square spindle. And this is going to go inside of your retaining bow, whether you have with or without flag, obviously. Um, though a decent product, one of the things we thought that we could make it better was by going with actual metal in this application, making that out of aluminum. The other factor was, on the end of your OEM spindle, this doesn't move at all. On the end of ours, we actually made these little tiny bushings rotate. So it's just going to be a lot less stressful in that application. So if you haven't tried either one of these products and you get an opportunity, please take a chance and we welcome your feedback. Have a wonderful day.